Hello, you're welcome to this lesson. In this video, you're going to learn about superposition theory. So, um, I'll explain to you the steps involved in um, using superposition theory to find a voltage and a drop across an element in a circuit. So, let's look at how we are going to do this. So, I have this question here which says that using the superposition theorem, find the V in the circuit, which is the voltage drop across the 4 ohms resistor. So, let's look at how we are going to solve this question. Okay, so I have here the steps um, to apply superposition um, theorem. Okay, the first one says that turn off all independent sources except one source and then find the output voltage or current due to that active source. And then the second one says repeat step one for each of the other independent sources. And then the third one says find the, um, the total contribution by adding algebraically all the contributions due to the independent sources. Okay. So all this means is that first of all, we should uh, consider one of the independent sources acting alone. Then we should find the voltage or current due to that source. And then we should repeat that for all the sources in the circuit. Then we should combine the total effect to find the total voltage drop or current on that particular element in the circuit. So let's look at how you are going to do this. So first of all, you are going to consider the six volts acting alone. 6 volts acting alone. Okay, this is what you are going to do. So I'm going to redraw the circuit and then I will short circuit the. Sorry, this is a current source. Okay, so I will open source it rather. If you have a current source in the circuit, you have to open circuit it. And then if you have a voltage source, you have to sh uh, short circuit it. Okay, so let's look at that. I will further explain that so that we understand it. Okay, so this is the circuit. Okay, and then now we are considering the 6 volt uh, voltage source acting alone. Okay, then you see that we had a current source here, right? And then the question says that 10 of all independent, sorry, the step one says that 10 of all independent sources except one source. Okay, so now what will happen is that if you want to consider the voltage source here, which is the 6 volt source here, the way, uh, the only way you can turn off the current source will be to open circuit it, okay? That's why I have the open circuit at the terminals where the current source was um, from. So this will be the circuit now. So now let's use this circuit here to find the voltage drop across the 4 ohms resistor, okay? So let's see that the total voltage drop across the 4 ohms resistor will be equal to V1 plus V2, okay? So let's take this to the V1. So our goal here is to find V1. So now let's consider the circuit here. To find V1, you will have to find the total current flowing through the circuit, right? Because V1 will be called the current flowing through the 4 ohms times the 4 ohm itself. So you are going to have the 6 volt to be equal to, let's say the current is I1, okay, to be equal to 8 I1 plus 4 I1, right? So you are going to have 6 to be equal to 12 I1. Right, so divide by 12, divide by 12. So cancel out this. We're going to have one on two here. So I'm going to have I1 to be equal to 1 over 2, okay, same as like 0 0.5. Okay, so now let's find the voltage across the 4 ohms resistor. So I'm going to have V1, okay, we're going to have V1 to be equal to 4 times half, right. And this will give us a value of 2 volts. So we know our V1. So let's find V2. So for V2, we are going to consider the current source acting alone. And then for us to be able to turn off the voltage source, we will have to short circuit it. Okay. So let's look at that. So I will draw the circuit without the voltage source. So I've short circuited it. Then we are going to have the 4 ohms here. 
okay and then we are going to have the current source here so this is the 3 ampere current source this is the 4 ohms okay and then we have V3 here and then this is the 8 ohms okay so now you want to find V2 let's look at how you are going to find V2 so you can use uh, you can apply the current division rule here okay you're going to have let's say the current flowing through the 4 ohms is I2 you're going to have I2 to be equal to the 3 amperes multiplying 8 over 8 plus 4 okay that will be equal to 3 times 8 over 12 okay so let's simplify this and see what you are going to get so 8 over 12 will give us a value of 2 and 3 we're going to have 3 times 2 and 3 right this will cancel out this and then we are going to have i2 to be equal to 2 amperes right so from here to calculate for v2 that would be equal to the 2 amperes times the 4 ohms that will give us a value of what 8 volts right so at the end we are going to have v to be equal to v1 right which is 2 volts right plus v2 which is what 8 volts so then we are going to have the total voltage drop across the four ohms resistor to be what 10 volts. So this is how to apply the superposition theorem.